Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Monday afternoon from the balcony overlooking the New York Stock Exchange. And guess what, guys? If you can't tell, I'll tell you right now, I'm in a great mood. I'm energetic. We just finished an extended holiday weekend, and I myself, I'm feeling awesome because everywhere you go in New York City, it might be cold, but the holiday season is in full swing. Tourists everywhere, but it kind of makes you forget just how cold it is outside. Beside that, it's nearly that time. It's nearly 4 o'clock. The markets, they're about to close. You know what time it is. It's time for a happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now it's a new week and U.S. stocks are slightly lower this Monday afternoon as a massive post-election rally appears to finally be taking a break. And as investors keep an eye on oil prices ahead of a key OPEC meeting. Now let's first begin with oil as WTI crude oil futures for January delivery rising more than 2% above $47 a barrel after the Dow Jones reported that Iraqi oil minister said Iraq will cooperate with other OPEC members to reach a deal. Crude price is trading lower this Monday after Libya's National Oil Corporation said Sunday it would not take part in any OPEC production cuts for the foreseeable future. And with all of this combined, just take into consideration that OPEC is scheduled to hold its meeting on Wednesday and it is still expected to agree on an oil production cut or freeze. Meanwhile, on the economic docket today, the Dallas Fed manufacturing survey rising to 8.8 .8 in November from 6.7 in October. And with that stated focus already turning to the November jobs report, key jobs report, that is, this Friday. Investors also keeping a close eye on data as the Fed is expected to raise its interest rates at its December meeting. And with gold up just about $8, you have yourself a session right now where eight stocks are on the downside. For every five advancers right behind me here at the New York Stock Exchange, let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this, the first trading session of the new week. And on the corporate front, Boeing expected to be the target of new World Trade Organization sanctions. This according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. And Merck winning priority review status from the FDA in its application for a new use of its cancer drug, Keytruda. And with that stated kickback, relax, grab yourself a drink. One quick sports note, actually two. J-E-T-S, just end the season. Just end the season, please. And number two, Chelsea Tottenham. At least they made me smile this past weekend. From out on Wall Street, I'm James Swing.